Let's delve into the world of path analysis, a statistical method that navigates through the maze of variables. This technique, nestled under the broad umbrella of structural equation modeling, is primarily employed in social sciences and related fields. Its purpose? To explore and quantify the intricate relationships between variables. The beauty of path analysis lies in its versatility. It's like a Swiss army knife for researchers, equipped with the ability to investigate complex systems of interconnected variables. It not only identifies these relationships but also dissects them, revealing the direct and indirect effects variables have on each other. Imagine standing at the entrance of a labyrinth, each path representing a variable, each turn a potential relationship. Path analysis is the guide that helps you navigate this labyrinth, unlocking the secrets hidden within. Path analysis, therefore, is not just a statistical method. It's a research flashlight, illuminating the way through complex variable systems. What makes path analysis a preferred tool for researchers in the social sciences and beyond? Well, it's all in its versatility and power to unravel the complex tapestry of variable relationships. With path analysis, researchers can explore causality within their theoretical models, distinguishing between direct and indirect effects. It provides a robust framework for model testing, enabling researchers to assess how well their theoretical constructs fit with the observed data. But that's not all. Path analysis shines in handling complexity, probing the intricate relationships among numerous variables. It's a valuable asset in fields like psychology, sociology, and economics, where understanding these relationships is key. Additionally, it allows for hypothesis testing, offering empirical support for specific research questions. When should you use path analysis? It's most suitable when dealing with a well-defined theoretical model, multiple interdependent variables, when investigating causality, and when testing mediation and moderation. Like any powerful tool, path analysis comes with its own set of assumptions. It expects relationships to be linear, variables to be independent, measurements to be error-free, and data to be normally distributed. It also assumes homoskedasticity, no endogeneity, and the use of cross-sectional data. A sufficiently large sample size is required and the causality assumptions must be respected. Lastly, a well-specified initial model is essential. Path analysis, thus, is not just about crunching numbers. It's about understanding and respecting the principles that govern those numbers.